Let's start with the starters for Notre Dame. You see Sonia Citro on the reigning ACC Freshman of the Year. Maddie Westbell is 1-1 one and one this season. Kayla Rainey has stepped in, and she's the point guard for this team post-Veronica Burton. Ranked opponent, or excuse me, their second in three games after losing by 43 points to Oregon, wanting to put that behind them, focus on Notre Dame, and take what could be a huge non-conference win. We see the matchup zone here by Northwestern. They love to bump off and just watch with the bumps. They're very communicative. They have to be because everyone needs to be covered. Kylie Watson, the spin move. Of the players today at practice, and they said, hey, we don't care about the stats. We just want to win. And that makes a difference. Northwestern now 0 for 4 with a turnover. Count it and the foul. Still no points on the board as Miles is going to be too strong off glass. And Lauren Ebo there to balance for Notre Dame. Ebo was right there. Two high hands corralling that rebound. Didn't bring it down. Kept it at her chin level. Chin into the backboard. Lauren Ebo sounds familiar. It's because she played at... To the high post, West Bell didn't think twice. Ebo, the offensive rebound, looking smooth on the turnaround. Your team that went to the Elite Eight. On the baseline, it is Sydney Wood. Offensive rebound to Shaw, one of the best in the Big Ten, was third last year. Ten rebounds per game, they swing it to Jillian Brown. Back to back window. Skip pass, it is Wood for three, not that time. And snatched away by West Belt. See Courtney Shaw in there, trying to dig that one out of the mud. Leaving it off for Ebo is made. Spelled is going to kick it out to Mabry. A good close out there by Morris. Long range two for Westbell does not fall, but there is Ebo continuing to work. Space inside, there's not much you can do to take that putback ability away from her. All the way is Wood. Those of Ebo shots are two points, so you know she's going to be getting herself into the paint area and trying to attack you in those actions. Nine points for her, a game high. Skip pass over to Morris, who tries to thread it inside. It's Paige Bond, who is able to... Body contact, keeping that defender at bay and stretching out on the reversal there. Ebo facing up, likes what she sees. Oh, does she have a double-double yet? Because <laughs> I mean, she has just been aggressive on the interior, why not just continue to go to her until there's an adjustment made defensively, maybe showing her an extra body in there. 11 points, five for five is Lau, looking like Miles on the other side. Yeah, that's tough defense, you know it. I'd love to see players excited about defending. Miles stretches, finishes. And then transition defense is another story, right? If you're missing, you gotta hightail it back. Notre Dame bumping off here in their matchup zone. Lau almost gives it up. Ten seconds to go on the shot clock. Late pass by Morris. That's just how they drew it up with shot. Olivia Miles got lost there defensively. Tried to recover with the deflection. Mabry drains the three and with the regular season. Certainly the Big Ten West very much up for grabs. Jenna Brown, new into the game for the Fighting Irish. Let's see what Notre Dame does against this Blizzard defense. We asked Neil Ivey what they're looking to do. It is to get the ball in the corner, and just like that. On the three, that even happened at Northwestern practice. Mm -hmm. A shot went in from there. Yep. And just imagining it could have been a Fighting Irish and exactly how they drew it up. Six assists on 10 made shots now for Notre Dame. Lau who finds herself all alone in the paint, but too strong off glass. She's gotten downhill a couple of times and has not been able to connect on those drives, but again, you'd like to see the opportunities. Can Citron line it up again? The answer for Citron coming into this game from range, but she can make you pay if you don't get there to contest. You have to move on the pass. Another thing Joe McEwen was insisting upon saying. Shaw in transition. They close out on Citron. She decides to drive. Is looking for that assist. Missed by Brown, but Marshall working the boards. 
Citron, the pump fake, and she is feeling it. Off the bounce, the midi game is going right now, knocked in a triple. She's in a good flow. She's taken over Lauren Evo for the game high. She's got 12 points on four for four shooting as Walsh. It is to a certain extent, but you got to have some ability down on the block to make people pay with your back to the basket. When it's one-on-one, -on -one, yeah. you got to get that. It's barbecue chicken alert. <laughs> chicken fried steak, all of it. Citron stays offensively so far by Citron. Last year's ACC Freshman of the Year as Walsh will face up and drain one of her own. Oh, I mean, it was clean. It didn't hit any of the rim. I mean, that's the shot you want to leave the gym on. Clean. Kylie Watson in the paint. Just staying with it. And the second chance points for Notre Dame have made a huge difference. 17 right now for the Irish. The crossover. Jillian Brown, a great move. Is that you? I didn't come up with so that bar. Yet. Okay. Maybe I should have told you that? Yeah, that's a nice little bar. <laughs> Miles, the dish and the finish. That is Notre Dame's mm. offense right now. Push and score, and then they are not back down kind of players. A little entanglement going on off the ball. 15 seconds on the shot clock. Mercy Adem uh, Ademusayo getting it in the paint. And it's good. And without two of their starters and a key bench player, Ademusayo can't get that to fall. Well, there are no free throws taken because all of those fouls, they offset one another from each team. But wow, I think that tremendously obviously impacts Northwestern having two starters being sent to an early shower. But it was the correct call. You cannot leave the bench area. When a fight looks like it may ensue. Olivia Miles and one as she did. Along with Jasmine McWilliams. Dave Sio tries to get it before the buzzer. She does and one. When that happened, three players for Northwestern were automatically ejected. Joe McEwen, the head coach for Northwestern, received an indirect technical. Okay. And then there were double intentional fouls because of initial contact on the floor. And that's Paige Mott and Nat Marshall. Yes. So number five, Olivia Miles of Notre Dame. So with all the canceling out and the ejections, they just picked things back up, got back into the possession, but a lot of wrangling there to try and sort things out after it was Mott and Marshall who got tangled up going for a rebound off a free throw. Yeah, and the technicals offset between Olivia Miles and Carolyn Mott. And that's why there were no free throws taken. It was then two in the ball for both of those. As Wood drives the baseline, quick swing to Brown for a good look. Max left short, Mott battling for the rebound, but it is Watson who secures it. Wood is a little bit slow to get back, so it's five on four for Mabry, and she drains three number two. They send that ball right back out. Mabry making him pay. Lau misses everything, and Miles says, I'll take that, and I will start the break for my team. Doesn't matter if we don't have the advantage. I'm going for the Notre Dame Fighting Irish, but you could tell she was a predator off that air ball. Yeah, yeah. We're scoring right here. Well, she has two double-doubles so far this season. Her first one was points and rebounds. The second game was points and assists. And she gets an assist right there. Stroke it long range. Yeah. And you have to know your personnel. That's not just defensively. And know your personnel. She knows how to set her teammates up for success. Notre Dame. Good things happen when Miles. That's how you get it done. Caroline Lau. Too strong. And picked off by Paige Mott. Northwestern again without three players, including two starters. Kaylee Walsh, Courtney Shaw, and Jasmine McWilliams in New Well, the fact that Olivia Miles has gone to the free throw line nine times and made all nine of them, and we're at this part of the game, Skylar Diggins Smith playing. He saw Arike Gumbawale, and he saw how fundamentally sound these teams were, and not just in the successes, but she said it was in the adversity, in the adverse situations. How do you handle losses? What do you do in practice to correct that? And he's sitting right there front row. 
two games, he had 21 and 26 points, respectively. 26 against the Celtics a couple games ago. Underneath with the bucket, Haley. Second technical that Olivia Miles just received. Sent her to the locker room with an ejection. So we will not be seeing three starters the rest of tonight. Kaylee Walsh and Courtney Shaw who were ejected earlier in the game because of two technical fouls. Olivia Miles' night is done in the third quarter. I wonder if either of the Mabrys are watching and saying, Daryl is not involved in any of this. She's known as the feisty one. As the conference play, Sloan, listen. <laughs> That's gonna, I, I need seat belts, I need a, a <laughs> helmet to hold my headset down because it's gonna be so exciting to see when these teams battle one another. We're seeing what they're doing out of the conference. Watson saves it from going out of bounds. But you know what game I'm looking forward to? That's coming up quite soon, Christy. Mm, what do we have? Notre Dame against Maryland in the Big Ten ACC Challenge. Three seconds on the clock for Notre Dame and Mabry's just going to heave it up. And Bransford keeps it in play and drains. KK Bransford averaging about 18 minutes per contest this year. But she has a big upside as well. I mean, very versatile, especially in the defensive end. It's interesting. The number 29 ranked player in her graduating class actually played high school basketball with Iowa's Gabby Marshalls. In Cincinnati, Ohio, as Rainey swept the good shot for the great shot. Yeah, she certainly benefited from Olivia Miles technically not being a first-year player last year. But she and Joe McEwen knows full well. You know, he has 751 wins under his belt, eighth most in Division I women's basketball right now. He knows. He knows what this moment is. But it's up to the players, these young players, to understand what it is. And then Valparaiso after that. So you look at those as mid-major matchups and think, can we string something together, look more cohesive on the court with each other? And so aggressive. You know, Tangela Smith, longtime assistant for Joe McEwen, is now associate head coach for Northwestern. And I spoke with her today at their shooting practice and said, hey, this is defense. I mean, it's, it's a tough concept. They have adapted. And yes, they miss some rotation sometimes, but they're coachable and they're learning the <laughs> impending bundle of boy. I love to see it. I was thinking about Ruth Riley because Olivia Miles is also on the Naismith watch list and go. the only winner in Notre Dame history. Ruth Riley. Well, there you go. Brought it all together there, Sloan. That's why, you know what? Come on. I, I, I'm hugging her. <laughs> Headband and all that. You know what? I love it. Fun stuff. Enrique Gumawale and her heroics. Oh, yeah. It's just Skyler Dickens throughout the game and, you know, the lineage. We already talked about Jaden Ivey, you know, and these, these boy moms out here. Melanie Daly nets it before their game Saturday against Southern Illinois. Well, Notre Dame emphatically. Gets itself to 3-0 and to start this season. Making a statement. Overwhelming Northwestern.